Hey, are you ready for this lesson? We are going to model the owning and for that, we are going to use the cloner. So, let's begin with the modeling. First, to model the base part for the owning, we need to recreate this half circle, so you see here. To do that, we have to start from a polygonal object whose shape is somehow similar. In this case, we are going to create a disk. Go to display and choose Go Route Shading. Then lower the disk segments to 1 and the rotation segments to 12. No, let's leave it at 8, much better. So make this object editable by pressing the C key or clicking this button. Now select these polygons and delete them. After that, select these edges and drag them to the right while holding Ctrl. That's it. We should always begin by modeling the most difficult part, which in this case will be these half circles. Then you can continue with the easier part. So we've done the half circle and then an easier part. Let's make some constraint lines. To do that, change the layout to model and with the slide tool, We'll drag this line to the inside while holding control. So, okay, with control, move it and drag it. Okay, now we need the constraint lines. So, right click and select the loop path cut tool and click here. Let's remove the segments over here to have a better shape. We don't need these two. Why? We should always have our models be composed of quads. Like this. One, two, three, and four. A four-sided figure. Look here, we have triangles. So we should delete this middle line. Right-click and select Dissolve. And here too. Perfect. Now, we are going to create another edge here so that we can rotate this. Right-click, Loop Path Cut Tool. After that, select the point mode. Did you notice that we have a couple of misplaced points? So select them, or even better, select the full object and then right-click and optimize. This option will get rid of the unnecessary points. Then select these points and move them down. Also these and move them down again and these too. And finally this one on the tip. Perfect. Let's move up these two. Great. The shape looks better now. To check this, create a subdivision surface and parent it to the object. OK, we have the base for the owning. Let's give it some thickness. Delete the subdivision surface and go to Simulate, Cloth and Cloth Surface. This will generate some thickness on the object. See? Ready. And now it's time to use the cloner. Go to MoGraph and Cloner. Then parent the cloth surface to the cloner. Now we are going to distribute these pieces properly. And it will be on the x-axis. To do that, select the cloner and go to the Object tab. Here we have the coordinates. Enter a value of 0 on the y-axis and increase the value on the x-axis. 
Perfect. Let's increase the count to 10. All right. So we have the main part of the owning. And now we are going to reduce the scale a little bit on the X axis. Go to the cloner and reduce the spacing on the X axis too. And change the count to 12. Finally, create a subdivision surface and parent the cloner to it. And this is it. We have the main part of the owning. Perfect. See you in the next video. Bye.